EDC stands for Everyday Carry, and it's somewhat of a misnomer because a lot of us in the knife and gun community change up our EDC systems on a regular basis. So they truly aren't things that we necessarily carry on us every day. Uh, but it's just sort of a shorthand about things that we carry, right? So what I want to talk about, though, is part of my everyday carry that literally has been every single day, nothing has changed. And I like to refer to it as an EDC mainstay. Um, I don't know if that term has been taken or not, but I just kind of thought of it. Uh, I'd love to hear, uh, as I talk about my EDC mainstay, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll go over that here in a second, I'd love to hear what your EDC mainstays are that have never changed, and I want to know what it is, but also how long that that has not changed in your system. So let me know in the comment section down below. For me, it is my Leatherman sheath, and it isn't just the fact that, yeah, I just carry a Leatherman wave on me all the time, is the items that I also have inside of this Leatherman sheath. Now, I'll talk about the different items in here and I'll be leaving links in the description box down below. And I'll also mention there's one item that has literally just been changed as of, you know, this week. And I'm a big fan of the, the, the upgrade. But as far as all the components and everything like that, you know, everything has remained the same. So as you can see, this is the, the nylon sheath from Leatherman, not to be confused with the leather sheath from Leatherman, which is also a very good sheath system. It just has, doesn't have the elastic pockets that the Leatherman wave that comes with, but also just something that you can purchase on Amazon. So it's got two side pockets. It has the main compartment that you can put the Leatherman, but and it also has this back elastic pocket that you can put these bit drivers. And I think these side ones are supposed to be for like the bit extenders or something like that. However, now this is, this is, uh, you might be wondering, why, why do I have all these different sheaths for the Leatherman Wave? Well, that's because after a couple of years, each one of them kind of wears out. So inside of here, uh, let's go with the, uh, let's just talk about the Leatherman first. So I got the Leatherman Wave. Now, for those of you who know anything about multi-tools, multi-tools, um, they can include twist arm and knives, but honestly, I, whenever I hear a multi-tool, I think of something with pliers and something with the screwdrivers, maybe, maybe it's got a scissor, knife blade, maybe even a saw or you know, a file of some sort, and that's what this has. This is the Leatherman Wave, which is the flagship for Leatherman. And Leatherman is basically synonymous with the term multi-tool. So the best of the best of the best is the Leatherman Wave, in my opinion, and in many other people's opinions, apparently. Um, this is around 80 bucks on Amazon, so it is a little bit of an investment. There are plenty of other um, other options for multi-tools, and I've made videos where I compa compare different multi-tools. So I'll leave those links in the description box down below. Moving on to what I keep in these side little compartments. So on, on this side, I have a little bullet pen. And yeah, these are kind of expensive. I want to say they're like $17 in the store, give or take. And yeah, they're the Fisher Space pens. And they're, they're compact. You can write upside down with them. And you can use them in space, I suppose. But I just really like the, the compactness of it and how easily it just fits into this the little compartment right here. On the other side, I have a flashlight. Now, if you guys have been watching my pocket dump videos over the over the years, you've noticed that nothing has changed as far as like, I always have these Streamlight micro streams in those pockets. And I've had a little bit of issues with these things because the, the pocket clip on these will, will bend on them. And so I end up kind of putting these in like backpacks or bug eye bags or things like that rather than carrying them in my pocket um, and especially with like I have them I have one right here too in the basketball shorts these things fall out really really easily so this is my third one um, and the pocket clip hasn't bent yet but it just doesn't hold into the pocket very well I'm saying all that for a reason. You can definitely put it in here and you have no issues. You don't have to worry about it holding in really tightly or anything. But Olight just came out with, uh, with the model is known as the i3T EOS. And it's basically very similar design as the Streamlight, 
but instead of it being a single output like the stream light is on my in my left hand the o light has dual output so this is its low mode right but if you press and press again with another you know, few seconds then it will switch into the high mode so that's pretty cool and then if you you know there's a lot of flashlights that have mode memory they will always turn back on into that less lumens output that you set it on. What I like about this is that it will always default into the low output mode. You don't want to always have it on the highest output whenever you turn on your flashlight because that might take away your night vision and it might also blind people around you who might be trying to sleep or something like that. So I always like flashlights that will always default into the lowest lumen output for that very reason. So that is the flashlight that I keep on the side pocket. Um, well, before I put it away, I I do like the pocket clip. It is a little bit hardier of a pocket clip. I think it will stay in a little bit better. Once again, basketball shorts. I've noticed that unlike the other one, this one has a lot better, I guess, pocket retention. And it has, just like the MicroStream, a unique pocket clip design which will allow you to clip it to the bill of your hat so that you can use this as a hands-free capability as long as you got a hat or whatnot. So, pretty cool little flashlight. Also not super expensive. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. The last thing that I keep in here, in that back pocket, and you can kind of see it, is just a little lighter. Now, this is from Korea, but you can also just put like a Bic light or something like that. I like having something that is bright and easy, and easy to find, just in case you are out in the woods. It is worst case scenario, you got lost or something like that, you have to start a fire. Having a, something that's brightly colored will be easier to find. Knife News just did a story um, not too long ago where someone was lost in the woods and he had a lighter on him as well as a Swiss Army knife and a buck knife and he was able to survive for you know a few days or so um, until he until he found his way out because he had a, had those items on him but he lost his lighter so um, just if you have a lighter and you're trying to incorporate it into your EDC or survival kits or bug out bags uh, try to have one that's kind of easy to find anyways guys so those are all of the components that I keep in what I refer to as my EDC mainstay my Leatherman sheath I'd love to hear uh, from you guys what you have that is a mainstay for your EDC, um, or you know, just just let me know in the comment section down below. Is is there anything that you guys could take away from this video? Any products that you want to hear more about? Any more gear reviews you want to see in the upcoming future? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Y'all stay safe out there, and remember that it pays to be prepared. God bless. Yeah.